Well, let's look at number nine from the worksheet. The function f is differentiable for all real numbers. The point three comma one fourth is on the graph of y equals f of x. And the slope is given by, the slope is given by the derivative, which is dy dx equals y squared times six minus two x. Find the second derivative and evaluate it at the point three comma one fourth. Okay, find the second derivative. Well, they, they gave me the first derivative, so I don't really need to take two derivatives. I just need to take a derivative of, of this guy. Um, that happened on the test, the most recent test, and I think most of you got it because that was the problem I kept saying, pay close attention to, read careful on what you've got and what you're looking for. This is going to be a have to be a product rule, and it looks more complicated than I want to just do like a product rule in place. So I'm going to split it up, show the work, piece it back together. So f prime, g prime. So what would f prime be? 2y dy dx. 2y dy dx. Was that just your attempt to make it onto the video? Speak up loud and clear. So. I can talk louder. <laughs> How about G prime? Negative two. Negative two. So now I'll just put that stuff back together for the second derivative. So first one times derivative of the second one plus the other way around. Two y dy dx times 6 minus 2x. Uh, that's kind of kind of right. Kind of not good enough, though. Because if I want to evaluate that at 3 comma 1 fourth, there's a, there's a y. That's fine. I know what y is. What I don't know, and I know what x is, So I have two options. I can I can plug in 3 1 fourth into dy dx and get the number and then plug that in. Or I can plug all of this in for dy dx. Either one is fine. Because it works more generically, I'm going to plug all of that into there. So negative 2y squared plus 2y. And then we know what dy dx is because they gave that to us. And I guess there's probably some cleanup you could do on there. Factor out stuff, multiply, but we don't really want to do that. We just leave it alone. Although it did say evaluate it at the point I'm leaving that there because that was one of the questions is find this. So there's there's one answer. And then evaluate it at 3 comma 1 fourth. So now all I need to do is plug in 3 for x, 1 fourth for y. And I'm not going to simplify anything. All right, I mean, I'm just going to leave it all kind of as is. It's going to look terrible, but... Oh, you know what? I said I was going to leave it all as is, but something kind of nice happens. What? I mean, I, I, you can leave that. <coughs> that's completely okay to leave that. That's correct. 6 minus 2 times 3 goes away. But 6 minus 2 times 3 is 0, and so that would wipe out all of this second part. So it would just be the first part. So negative one eight. But again, if you didn't see that or didn't even want to mess with it, that's a safe stop and that's fine. 